to go but to fly to Orlando to catch up with friends and family who are already there um, yeah. in celebration. Lisa and Alan, so, they're yeah. already there. The one that went to Hard Rock. Yeah, Antelisa and Uncle Alan. Great. From Hard Rock. And lots of others are, are meeting us there as well. So we're flying over for a week. Bit of a mad one. We've had a few crazy things going on at home. Um, and we've ended up getting flights with two e for £158 each. So we thought, bugger it, let's go and do it. So we're going to have a week in Orlando. We're going to access our Universal Annual Passes. And uh, we're going to have a great trip. So big for change as well. <laughs> we are, uh, we're getting the train to Manchester Airport. And uh, we're going to bring you all along with us. Are you excited, kiddo? Very excited. I'm going on Velocicoaster with Grace. <sighs> Looks like I've been dumped. What about you, kid? Are you going on Hulk? Not Hulk. No. Do you, you want to go see Hulk? Kong? No. Do you want to go on Kong? No. <laughs> Not sure where Scarlet's going. Have a good holiday, Scarlet. <laughs> Scarlet's going on her own holiday. Tell you. So straight off the train, which is dead easy, down the big tunnel, onto Terminal Do. Oh, you're coming with us now? I thought you were going on your own holiday. I thought you were working. No. So straight down the um, tunnel and we think we need zone B for Tui um, but there's already a massive queue and we're sort of four hours before, check it, uh, before our flight leaves so yeah a little bit of a wait, no big deal, but loads of time. We'll just do it really quickly though please. So we've been in line now for 40 minutes, we've gone from there to kind of the first bit here. Obviously we've got through the um, zigzag, so we've probably got back another half an hour to an hour. So the tip is come early because check-in takes a long time. Doesn't it, Sienna? Does it take a long time? So we're next in line. We got here at um, 7.47. It's now 8.57, so it's been an hour and 10 minutes to get through. Um, oh, we're posing. What are we doing, Scarlett? Me and C I'm making a pic collage for our phone screen. Oh. So I'm getting loads of different photos and Sienna's on the And And just like that, the pram is all packed away. I should have filmed him actually doing it because it's a, a work of art. <laughs> By the way, guys, I've not moved on from anything. I can't find any photos. Still going strong. Wow. It's like this. Sienna <laughs> is having the time of her life eating chocolate at 8 a.m. in the morning. It's Aren't you? Yeah. You having fun? Say goodbye to that pram. Say goodbye to the stroller. Say see you on the other side. On the, on the other side. So, bags are all gone. Now I've got the next bit of baggage security. See how long that takes. So we're through. Um, we got sort of like an express uh, line because we had the babies. So it still took 35 minutes, but look at this weather. God, we're getting away from that. Right, let's get through. No shops. 
to the next task now. I've got to find the girls who ran off shopping. Here they are. Where you been, girls? I've got I've bought this game for the plane so we can play. Wonderful. Sixteen pound later. Loser. So we're all the way through. The girls have done what they need to do. We've got about half an hour before it says we need to go to the gate. So I'm going to try and get something to eat. Come on, Sienna. Oh, she's putting her headphones around the waist. Because that's the best place to put your headphones. Sienna, is it good? Wow, look at the beehive ceiling. Love it. So our first expensive meal of the holiday. So we're in, we've got this beautiful tree. Good view behind, good view in front. And we've got all had scrambled egg on toast, which looks delicious. How is it, honey? The second best scrambled egg you've ever had? Amazing. After yeah, mine? After yours. But yeah, it's really good. Good answer. Very, very good. Well done, you're a keeper. How's your scrambled egg, girls? Amazing. Not as good as mine, though. <laughs> Mummy said not as good as mine. Is it good? Crap pot. So we were due to set off about 20 minutes ago. There's been a big delay because of no cleaning staff for the planes. And then weirdly, they're kind of letting, like, they're just calling out the odd family name and letting them on and then shutting the doors. So I think there's some form of, like, exclusive club going on behind the door. You're definitely not going to be able to get in, so we're going to be stood here all day. The things you do when you're bored. Some better choreography in a blind home. <laughs> so we're an hour later, but here we go. Sienna, where are you going? Hi! <laughs> Woohoo! Hi! 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 I'm going to the Mahai! Hi! 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 Sienna, are you ready for your flight? All ready, girls?
Best day since last month. Yeah. <laughs> Spoiled little madams. All three of you. <laughs> Sienna. Matchy, matchy. It's <laughs> a bit of a change here at Melbourne. You collect your bags before you go through customs and passport control. So we've come out of Melbourne Airport, which was amazingly easy and amazingly quick. We'll talk about that later on when I pick the girls up. And then I came off site in a taxi to pick up a, a car rental two miles down the road. Um, so a little tip for anyone, if you're flying into Melbourne, we used a website called Kayak and for a week and to pick up a Hertz or anyone else at the airport was $400, uh, 400 pounds. We've come off site, which was two miles up the road, it was $12 in a taxi, and we got it for 200 pounds. So anybody flying into Melbourne, use Kayak, but try and use the site, the, the, the car rental just off site. Now, I had to phone them when we got there because we had a two hour delay. They normally close at 5 p.m., but they stayed open for us to go and collect it. So I've just got there at 5.25. So massive tip for anyone there. And now I'll go around and pick the girls up. And then we just go straight down here. All the way through. Dead easy. So for anyone who needs to hire a car, definitely go offside. That was mega easy. The only panic we had was it was supposed to close at 5pm. So we phoned ahead and they stayed open for us. Really, really kind. We are through. How quick was that, everybody? Brilliant. Was that like the quickest record time we have ever got off a flight, got our bags, and got through the airport? What's so it? Guys, recommendation. I've done all the recommendation. Get a big case. <laughs> I think the big difference was is obviously there's just one flight, so yeah, they were on it. They were on it. Um, so from the Melbourne point of view, you know, coming into a small airport was really beneficial for getting off. Yeah. And then also we did the trick of getting a car off site. So I told them all about it. Oh, he's already told Jeb. Yeah, yeah, so half price, dead easy, definitely recommend. Yeah. Um, and now we've got about an hour and 20 minute drive to celebration. Girls, what did you think of the flight? Ten out of ten. Actually, I'm going to give it. Well, do you know what? The flight attendants were absolutely The flight attendants and staff were phenomenal. Amazing. Big, Big massive shout out to Zoe shout from Blackpool. Shout out to Zoe from Blackpool. Whoop, whoop. We they were really, really kind, but it was an old plane, wasn't it? It the, was an old plane. The, the screens kept breaking. Yeah. Um, apparently, normally it's a Dreamliner and they cancelled it last night. So whether that was because there wasn't many on it, but that flight was pretty full. Apparently there was 70 kids on there. Yeah. We certainly can't complain for the price we paid. Yeah. But considering that we've flown to America this year with Aer Lingus and Virgin, mm -hmm. I'd say of the three, that was that third. Yeah. Um, yeah. Just as in I'd the, use it again though. Oh yeah, the food and everything was nice. Yeah, it was okay. It was just it was like right. to say that the, the aeroplane itself was a bit tired, wasn't everything it? Everything was all right. Yeah. Um, but yeah. You know, for the price we paid, That's we've got complaints. Complaints. Yeah, we cannot complain. <laughs> we cannot complain. But if you paid seven, eight hundred pounds like you do on all the other flights, I think you would feel a little bit odd done by by that. Yeah, to be fair. Yeah, and that's what we like to say. We don't complain. We don't complain. Yeah. 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 Yeah
She's literally been here 10 minutes and she's already going for it. Where are you going? Cheers, guys. Come on, then, in it yet? There's a mermaid. Look. No, you're supposed to get in the water. Just jump in, your sausage. Yeah. Oh, and Cece's woke up. So Lisa and Alan have just gone out for a meal. So our friends Gary and, uh, and Emma are here to let us in. So it look good. You want to go in now? Oh, go ask mummy. <laughs> Is it good? Is it good? Yeah, ready? Go on then. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> Happy Hollies! What are you doing at my house? Oh my goodness! <laughs> so exciting! <laughs> An hour ago. <laughs> what are you doing in my pool? We <laughs> 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 just drank about five times. Hi guys! So we've been here now probably about what, two hours Ash? Would you say? Uh, yeah, sure. Two hours ish, and we've been catching up with our friends and family. Um, so we're now just going to give you a little tour of the um, house that we are staying in. So my sister's friends, Bill and Debs, I've let them have this house and there's lots of room for us to stay. So this is why we've... Yes, yeah, so Lisa and Eleanor, have, um, they were staying here anyway and that's why they were like, come this room. So we have just come. So I'm just going to give you a little tour of the house before it gets all hectic and blah, 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 blah. So anyway, let me turn you round. How do I turn it round while I'm on? Can't. You can't, so I'm just gonna stop. So back to that, here you go. You walk in, it's a pool room, snooker cues. There is a lounge here, it is set up as a bed um, for now, because we're not sure who, if, because there was obviously more people arriving on Thursday. Then we've got the beautiful lounge, basketball for Ash, he's so happy about this. The kitchen, sugar cookies on the side, and dining table number one, dining table number two, pool, but I'll show you that in a minute. Maybe show you that tomorrow, actually, when it's all light. Who's showing it? Oh, Dash, there's already showing it. Yeah. Then we've got here, lovely bedroom. Don't know who's in there, who's been in there, but yep, lovely bedroom. Then this here is the master bedroom. Let's just give it a knock. I don't think there's anyone in here. This is the master bedroom. Oh, someone's messed the bed up. <laughs> in celebration but yeah another bathroom with a shower and background now here to the beautiful lounge oh Alan, uncle alan give us a wave out uncle al youtube youtube <laughs> give us a wave yeah. Ashley's, Ashley's absolutely 
in his element now because he's got fo football, basketball, live. So we're only going to chill out now around the room. So we're going to finish here for the day. Good travel day? Yes, very good travel day. Anything you need to add? Make sure you like, subscribe and turn on that notification bell. And comment down below if you're thinking of booking a Florida holiday just because you've watched our travel day. Don't think about it. Get it booked. It's amazing. Good night. Bye.